Ladies and gentlemen, damas y caballeros, does anybody else feel like the hipsters are plotting something? And you know who I'm talking about, the people who dress up like lumberjacks, roaming the trendy areas for gluten-free tacos and soy milk lattes. I mean, not to sound too conspiracy theory, but it seems like the hipsters are up to something, and I don't know what it is, but it seems like the hipsters are trying to take us normal people out because anything that comes in their path becomes extremely unaffordable, like gentrification, organic grocery stores, and luxury lofts. I'm no NASA scientist, but it seems like there's a correlation between the two. I mean, I don't doubt that in the next couple years, a cup of coffee is going to cost over $10, plus that little bit extra when the barista looks you in the eye, smiles, asks you how your day is, turns the tablet around, and says, it's just going to ask you a little question. But anyways, if you see the current trends we're on, where rent prices keep going up, the price of groceries keeps increasing, and everything is becoming luxurious. You just wonder how anybody is going to be able to afford to live in this future that we're creating. The world is just getting more and more expensive, and I find it important now to start adopting frugal habits to prepare for this expensive future, to fight some of these trends and strive for a more frugal, simple way of life. So in this video, I want to talk about five frugal habits that you can adopt in your life to prepare for this expensive future. So let's begin. <sighs> Habit one, start preparing for a hard future. One thing that really scares me right now is AI, because it seems like in the last few months, we have opened these floodgates and we're going to see so many new tools that are going to replace so many jobs. I mean, I read a statistic the other day that I think summarizes what the future that we're heading towards is going to look like. At the height of its power, the face of digital photography Kodak was worth $28 billion and employed more than 140,000 people. In 2012, the current face of digital photography Instagram was sold to Facebook for $1 billion and only had 13 employees. Wealth is going to become more and more concentrated, and jobs are going to become more and more scarce. And although things are hard right now, I think in the future, things are going to be a lot more difficult because I think that AI is going to replace so many jobs. The cost of living is just going to keep going up, and wealth inequality will be more extreme than it is today. And I think you need to recognize that and start preparing for that. You need to recognize that going forward, things are just going to get a lot more complex. And now is the easiest time to start making positive changes. And in order to start making positive changes, you should make financial decisions to get out of debt and avoid it. Build a solid emergency fund in case you lose your job and start living a more frugal life. And I don't like to constantly be worrying about this uncertain future because it brings so much stress to my life and I just think there's no benefit to it. Instead, I find it important to just recognize that we're headed to more complex times and the best time and the easiest time to start financially preparing for it is right now. And at the end of the day, that is all you can do. Habit two, take advantage of free public services. In the future, I think that things will become so expensive that many people's hobbies and social activities will become so expensive that they can no longer afford them. And they'll get depressed and many people will think they can't find any enjoyment in life because all their hobbies and all their social activities are connected to spending money. When I was living in Ecuador, one thing that I really learned was how amazing these public services that we have here are, like libraries, public spaces, and national parks. Because not everyone has these things. I mean, in Ecuador, there are no libraries and books are too expensive to afford. So the only way you can read is by downloading pirated books on the internet. We have so many free public services and we just take them all for granted. And some people even look down upon them as if they're better if they don't use these free public services. But you should take advantage of these free public services in the future because you can connect so many of your hobbies for basically nothing. You can do things like fishing, biking on a greenway, reading more, or hiking. 
and you won't be dependent on money to find joy in life. I think that eventually things are just going to become so expensive that many people will no longer be able to afford their expensive hobbies or their expensive activities and they'll just become extremely depressed because they'll think that the only way to find joy in life is by spending money. But if you can embrace some of these free public services and connect your hobbies to them as we go in the future, you can find joy in life for basically free in a very expensive future. Habit three, invest more in real healthcare. In the US, healthcare is ridiculously expensive. I mean, when you see how other countries do it, you realize how much greed controls America. I mean, without greed, there is no America. Greed is just running this place. But now, and even more so in the future, you cannot afford to be sick. You have to take care of yourself and prevent things from happening. And that starts just by rethinking what healthcare is. Because we often view healthcare as paying insurance, going to the doctor, and taking medication. But that is actually sick care. It's what you do when it's your last resort, when you're sick. Real healthcare is exercising, eating healthy, and taking care of your mental health. It's taking steps to care for your health. Health care. And as we go in the future, people will probably live more sedentary lives, have more mental problems, and eat only junk food. And it's gonna be a huge financial burden. But if you take preventative steps to live a more active, healthy life, you can ultimately save so much money and live a much richer life down the road in the future. And it's important to remember that living a frugal lifestyle isn't about cutting corners and saving money anywhere you can, but it's about spending more money and investing more in things that are good for you and that will bring value in your life, like better quality food on exercising routines and even things on your mental health. And then you can prevent huge costs down the road. So as we go in the future, start rethinking healthcare and invest more in real healthcare. Habit four, don't keep up with crazy. Since the advancement of technology, the world has gotten pretty crazy. And we humans have always been crazy, but this is next level. Crazy. I mean, have you seen how people have been acting since the release of the smartphone and social media? If you are a logical human being, you should see the correlation between these things. And when you embrace this technology in your life, two things happen. It makes you go slowly crazy and it makes you spend more money. Technology makes people spend more money because it is so manipulative. I mean, it's like Santa Claus. It knows when you're sleeping. It knows when you're awake. It knows when you've been bad or good. So limit it for goodness sake. Hey, anyways, the more you get caught up in this new world of technology by constantly upgrading things, following trends, or embracing the latest gadgets, the more you'll be constantly spending money to keep up and the more you're going to be manipulated into spending money and I think it's important especially as we go into the future to reject a lot of this technology and recognize that it's not making people's lives better it's just making people go a little crazy but when you choose to live a boring life a more simple frugal life you one are more sane and more at peace and two you save a lot of money habit five spend for the future you want to live in I think that we often underestimate the power we have as consumers. I don't think we realize that when we're spending our money, what we're actually doing is voting. When you spend your money, you are voting for what products and services will be created in the future. And as a society, we collectively cast our votes every single day when we spend our money on things like luxury expensive housing or basic more affordable housing, expensive trendy restaurants or cheaper basic mom and pop restaurants, Whole Foods grocery stores or affordable grocery stores. 
And whatever receives the most votes will determine how affordable the future will be. It will determine what future products and services are created. And at least if some of us make intentional decisions to live a more simple, frugal life, then the future, we can create a future that is more affordable, or at least a market that sells more affordable things. But if we all keep spending money unintentionally and just accept that the future is going to be organic grocery stores, luxury lofts, and trendy Thai restaurants, then the hipsters win. We will all be lumberjack wannabes who die of hunger because we can't afford gluten-free tacos and soy milk lattes. We'll reach a tipping point where there's no options to live a more frugal life because the market doesn't exist. And so I find it important to just be in the habit of understanding the power we have as consumers and vote and spend your money for the future that you want to live in. Spend intentionally. Develop frugal habits that create not just a more affordable today, but a more affordable future that we all can live in. And above all, vote frugal and all your wildest dreams will come true. And with that, Muchas gracias. Que tengo un buen día. Video 106. Nos vemos, chicos.